Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The development of HTFE 25 turbofan engine is equally important as that of any 110 kN class or more thrust class engine which will power the future fighter jets of India. This engine is 25 kN class turbofan engine designed to power aircraft with lower thrust requirements such as basic or advanced military trainers, small business jets, stealth UCAFs or UAVs and wingmen. The single engine can power a 5 ton weight class aircraft and in twin engine configuration it can power 9 ton weight class aircraft. While this engine is not as cutting edge technology as used in Kaveri engine but it is at par with Adore F124 and AI225 engines. Once successful, this engine can save a lot of foreign exchange spent in export or licensed manufacture of engines of this class. The engine can also be used to power indigenous IJT, HJT36 or AJT Hawk 132 and reheat version of STFE25 variant can also power the Indian Air Force Jaguars at a fraction of cost that Honeywell is asking for its engine upgrade. Now the defense PSU HL had started the development of the engine in 2013-14 with a time frame of 6 years for completion. The STFE25 features a lot of 3D printed components made using alloy of titanium, aluminium and bandium in the ratio of 1 is to 6 is to 4. This alloy is also called alpha beta titanium alloy that exhibits high strength, low density and good corrosion resistance. It is one of the most commonly used titanium alloys that you will see in engines. The engine has a thrust weight ratio of 5.56 and maximum flight altitude of 11 km. The full engine technology demonstrator has been built for STFE and the first run of this technology demonstrator is complete. HL has also completed the acceleration trials in which up to 55% of speed was achieved. Two core engines have been produced so far and are undergoing developmental trials. Sea level trials are completed on the core engine and performance was found to be satisfactory. The cold weather trials and hot weather high altitude trials are also complete at Leh. The further development of a flight worthy engine for certification would require at least another 5 years or more. Now as for the latest update from HL, it is planning to get the certification of this engine by 2029 or 30 which I would say is quite late and there is need to expedite considering the wide area of application of this engine. HL has also planned the afterburner variant of this engine which would be capable of generating thrust of up to 40 kN. However, this would again depend on the success of 25 kN core engine. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.